one fucked up Jamaican high to everybody on this fucked up evil earth. You know, all you police officers and you sheriffs and you FBI agents and you DA agents fucking anybody who wears a badge for the New World Order, the One World Government, BAM! Just go blow your fucking heads off with your fucking pistol you carry around killing people, alright? I don't like policemen. I tell you, today, I really hate you fuckheads. I really absolutely hate every police officer or ex-police officer on this fucked up earth you guys rob and steal from us every fucked up day. You understand? You understand me? Nah, cause you just go out and write a ticket and steal from some child so that parent can't feed that child or clothe that child because the mother was fucking paying attention to the baby while she was driving and she got a speeding ticket. Or maybe she ran a red light. You're all fucked up in the head. But you know what? When a police officer steals from me and then says call the police up and see what they're going to do about it and they steal my marijuana that keeps me alive, I'm going to destroy that police officer's name with every police officer in Jamaica and throughout the world, okay? You're all a bunch of fucking thieves and a bunch of fucking crooks and a fucking bunch of murderers, all right? They get away with anything that you can possibly get away with. Well, see on my last video, you know, I got over $10,000 again worth of marijuana ripped off from me. And I planted something out thinking, you know what, I'm going to catch this culprit. I wish I would have filmed him, but it was way too early in the morning, and I knew there's only two people. And I wanted to catch one. It was the police officer, right, that I always suspected from England. The guy that says, hi, gringo, can you give me a spliff? Yeah, the guy with the little glasses, square eye glasses. In my other videos, I filmed him. I met his best friend today, and uh, I said, you know what, uh, Prince's uh, dad was the only person there with plus Prince. And they were both up just having a good time when I showed up 10 minutes later. So they were kind of shocked how, oh fuck man, uh, well, you know, what are we going to say, we're going to be sleeping? Yeah, oh yeah, we'll just say we've been sleeping. Said so you guys, you, all of you, stolen from me but up from other people, you know? Because I give that marijuana away. I bought that marijuana to give away. Because the shit's worthless to fucking smoke. But I bought it just to give it away to you guys because you're always asking for a split for me. But how in the fuck can you steal from fucking me? I gave you a lot of fucking marijuana. You calling me a fucking thief? You know what? I'm gonna kill you fucking ass, you bloody clot. Well, when a thief threatens your life and says you don't call him a thief or you don't tell anybody he's a thief, he's the thief. Another person will never threaten your life, will never threaten you, will never threaten to kick your ass if he wasn't the thief. So fuck all you thieves, all right? Now, I want to show you where my new home is today for just one night. I got permission. I could stay here until the rest of my life, but I don't want to be around the family or them, okay? Well, this is my new house. Yeah, nice little beach, front property. So I'll get to have the Caribbean sea blow up upon my spirit and upon my soul and hear the waves blowing all night. Well that's, that's another story tonight. Tomorrow, see my next video tomorrow.
trust me. I was after some land free. Okay? It, you know this, have you ever heard of that fish hook? You know, a fish hook that you throw out in the sea and, and it makes everybody see your video the next day? Yeah, that fish hook, yeah, that fish hook. <laughs> yeah, right out there. There's that fish hook. You see that? You see that fish hook? You see that fish hook right there? You see those rocks right there? You see all that land right there? You see all of it right there? That's all nice and beautiful land that's not eroded. Did you hear me? Did you hear what I had to say? I said, you see that peak out there? And all that beautiful land that's all nice and green out there with all the palm trees out there? Yeah, that land here. I'll show you. I'll show you one more time that land, okay? The palm trees out there. There's my, there's my fish hook, comes and sees my next video. Yeah, I'm loving this Jamaican life. You know what? You have some thieves will steal from you. And you have people that will willing to give land away to you. If you just give them so much money per year all right i was offered a shitload of land to lease out yeah i'll tell you the rest of the story in my next video I got to try to get comfortable and go, oh, my air mattress broke. Over a pound of weed got ripped off. The, the ex-police officer of Jamaica was actually the thief that stolen my marijuana. And he was the one that threatened my life. And I'd, he had, I'd kill him if I mentioned his name. And, and he wants to be a politician. If I get my way in life, uh, he'll never become a politician. I don't think he'll... I'm gonna hurt this guy. Like I hurt every police officer and every sheriff and every highway patrolman and every DA that sells the drugs for the CIA. And arrest the ones who uh, invade their business cartel. And then the FBI who blew up the Twin Towers. Yeah, I just, I see the lowest life people to the, to the highest corrupt people on the fucked up face of this earth that are murderers, okay? And nobody says anything. Nobody makes videos about these fuckheads. Let's all change the world, okay? And don't be afraid to do it. Do not be afraid to meet strangers on the street. Talk to them, be friendly with them. Because this guy about... Let me walk over. There's, that's where I had my tent at, but... I want to catch the breeze tonight. If it rains, I just scoop my tent back over here. But, 
I looked at this guy today and I said, you know what, you offered me land to build a house, long as I, he offered to me free and I said, but I want all your land. He goes, well, I'm only going to give you a piece of it. But if you want all of it, I'll lease it to you. There's my fish hook, okay? I said, listen, I only got so much money to do this and do this. Just shakes his head and goes, I'm going to help you out. I said, well, we'll become 50-50 par partner on your land. I don't want 50%. You're going to pay for everything. I just, my labor's free. And I said, well, your labor's for your children. And your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren until you guys, until something happens in life. But I think we, what we got set up here and what we're going to do, yeah, we're going to be pretty well rich here where we're at. We're going to be, matter of fact, millionaires if I can get away with this. And But I'm talking about talking about helping people out for the rest of their lives, all right? Educate people. And what I told him today, he goes, yeah, I want to help you. He says, how much do you want for the lease of land? There's your fish hook. Tomorrow I'm going to take you to the land. I'll show you everything. There's no water, there's no electricity. That's where I'm gonna be living at, okay? But he offered me his house to do whatever I wanna do in life. But somebody else offered me his place, so, you know, I got, I got so much offers there in Jamaica. People are helping me out. They want me to get, but you know what? They'll want something from me, and I'm willing to give it to them. And that's marijuana, and that's it. Yeah, that's it. Money, I'm not, you know. And I told the guy, I says, I'm willing to pay for your labor. You need, and I asked him, I said, you know what? I said, you're the only person here that's never asked me for a beer, has never asked me for a split, has never asked me for a rolling paper, and when I see you, I buy you a beer, I buy you a spliff, I give you a spliff, I give you a rolling paper. I don't say nothing. I respect you. And he goes, you know what? My mama told me never to beg. And I just said, you know what? You give me your land free. You never begged from me. You offer me your land. That point that I just showed you, yeah, that, that little, little fish hook. I said, brother, I, I want to do business with you because you're the only person I can trust. I want to change the way Jamaica thinks in life. Doing shit that you shouldn't be doing in life, but I'm going to, when I told them how we're going to build my, well, I already told you people in my other videos, my bamboo cottages. I asked him today, I says, you think we can build a two-story bamboo cottage? And all he looked at me is going, I said, that's what I want to hear. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. And he goes, doesn't say a word to me. When you people see this place and I start building homes, for you guys to rent out and you guys get fed and you guys got snorkeling and you do everything to heal yourself to get better in life and not be afraid in life I think this one drink is to the world you know it, it takes one bad person to destroy one person's life but it destroys a whole bunch of other people's lives. But it takes one person that will change your life and make you rethink about 
why you are living life. But it might change tomorrow, okay? It might change, but where I'm going to be living at, it's going to be a rough life for me for quite a few months. i got to hike for miles for my drinking water. I'm going to have to end up getting a taxi. There's no other way. That's how far I am from my spring that I've been drinking my water, except the beers I've been drinking that keep me happy in life. Well, I got to go to bed. When it's this time of night, mosquitoes come out, they bite your ass. You got to go, ouch. And they always bite me in the back or on my legs. I'm getting bit. Now why? Right there, all swampland. There's a good guy. What's going on, brother? All right. See ya.